The vice president is officially on vacation, but is apparently taking the president's Operation Candor very seriously. Ford walked leisurely to the slopes at Vail, shaking hands with startled bystanders and answering questions from reporters. Ford is an old hand here at Vail. He's owned a $50,000 condominium here for years, but he never got the kind of attention he's getting now when he was just a congressman. Ford is diverting the time he'd like to spend skiing to do what amounts to public relations work for the White House. Ford admits he's in a strange position. Many felt that when he filled the empty vice president's chair, that would spur new calls for the president's impeachment because there would be a Republican vice president to fall back on. I hope the uh, investigation for impeachment will be predicated on the facts, not on emotion or partisan politics. Might not the fact there is a man to fall back on, uh, mm -hmm. however, make the impeachment go forward more, more quickly? No, I think the impeachment yeah. process would have uh, proceeded even if I had not been uh, selected. Ford admits he's on the hot seat in Washington, but he says President Nixon is giving him far more authority and trust than former Vice President Agnew ever had. Well, I think the president has known me perhaps longer than uh, my predecessor, and uh, he's really concentrating on foreign policy, and I think that's a very important ingredient, and so i am giving been given more responsibilities at this time on some other areas. Ford didn't spend all his time talking politics at Vail. Ford and his family all rate as expert skiers and moved on to Vail's toughest runs. He joked with reporters saying he used to pull his children out of snowbanks on skiing trips to Vail. Now he says the kids are better than he is, and he proved it by taking a minor fall, luckily out of camera range. The vice president managed to enjoy skiing pretty much unrecognized and alone on the slopes. Probably the only people who aren't happy with the vice president's Vail trip are the Secret Service. It's extremely hard to guard a man who moves around so much and comes in contact with so many skiers. And the Secret Service has had a problem finding the right kind of agent to guard the vice president. They had to screen agents nationwide to find men who could keep up with the vice president on skis. Dave Menschel in Vail, Colorado.